Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see how to fix the missing value age group warning or error from Google Merchant Center using the bulk edit feature. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing and press bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Age group attribute is used to set the demographic factor for any particular product for which it is designed for. In layman's term, the age group attribute will define the age range of end users who can actually use the product. When age group information is provided, potential customers can accurately filter products by age group to narrow down the search results. Like here, when we have searched for jogging shoes, There are options in the sidebar to filter the search result as per age group, to which the products are applicable for. The supported values for age group attribute that we can choose from are newborn, up to 3 months old, infant, 3 to 12 months old, toddler, 1 to 5 years old, kids, 5 to 13 years old, adult, typically teens or older. Google uses the age group information together with the gender and size values provided in the feed to standardize the sizes that are to be shown in the search results to the users. As we can see here, we can filter shopping ads results for jogging shoes by women and girls separately. Age group is also required for all the products of apparel and accessories category to be eligible for enhanced free listing, as well as paid shopping ads on Google and other similar kinds of ad formats, which can be placed on other marketing platforms or marketplaces. Adding gender can help ensure that our products are shown with the right search results, which will result in boosting the conversion rate. This is especially important when products vary by age. Let's try searching for running shoes for kids. As we can see, Shopping ads results are shown with a pre-applied filter for running shoes category and for kids department. Points to bear in mind. It is strongly recommended to submit an accurate age group value for all the products that vary by age group to avoid limited performance or disapproval. There is a misconception that if we submit adult as age group value in the product feed, then those products contain sexually suggestive content and hence it limits the search result. However that's not the case, it just implies that these products are not exclusively for children. If your product does contain sexually suggestive content, then use the adult attribute. Sync errors from Google Merchant Center. Once a feed is submitted to the Google Merchant Center from our app, Google reviews the product data feed to check if any required or recommended attributes are missing. When the review is completed, Google lists out all the errors and warnings. To sync these errors and warnings with our app, please navigate to the Manage Products page of the app. Here, in the column of Errors from Merchant Center, please click on the Refresh Product Errors option. A dialog box will pop up where we need to enter an email ID to which we would like to have an error sync report to be delivered. Then click on the Fetch Product Status button. It will start fetching the product level issues and warnings. It may take a few minutes to fetch the errors and warnings based on the number of products submitted in the feed to Google Merchant Center along with other marketplaces. Please be informed that the manual error sync from Merchant Center option is available only once in every 24 hours. Our app also fetches errors and warnings from Google Merchant Center automatically if any new update is pushed to Google Merchant Center for any particular product or else if the entire feed is resynced again. Once it is done, we will be able to see the error and warning messages against the respective products within our app under the errors from Merchant Center column. We have also received an email with the list of errors and warnings mentioning a number of affected products as shown here. Upon clicking on the error or warning message from the list, it automatically redirects us to the app and applies the filter to list out only those products which are affected with that error or warning raised by Google in the Google Merchant Center. Like here, the filter has been applied to display products with missing value age group warning.
when we click on the same warning message in the email. But for this use case, all our products are having the same warning. Important note. Before proceeding ahead with assigning age group value to resolve the warning message of missing value age group flag by Google Merchant Center, please ensure that you have assigned the correct Google product category to all your products. We suggest this because if the Google product category is not assigned manually, as per your products, in that case, Google automatically assigns a product category. There are times when the automatic product category value assigned by Google is observed to be inaccurate, the required attribute for this inaccurate product category may differ from the actual product requirements. Let's have a look at one use case we created for the demo. As we can see here, a recycled wood necklace art is also missing the Google product category. Upon checking the same product in the Google Merchant Center, we can clearly see that this is a seasonal home decoration product as visible in the product image and stated in the product title. But Google has automatically categorized this product under necklaces, which falls under the category of apparel and accessories. As mentioned earlier, age group value will also be required for all apparel and accessories products, Google has raised a warning for missing value age group. So now to resolve this warning, we just need to assign the correct Google product category for this product within our app. The correct Google product category can be assigned manually by using the do edits in bulk feature of our app. Once the Google product category is updated in the Merchant Center, warnings related to missing value age group, gender, and color will also be vanished automatically without assigning the values for those attributes within the app. Coming back to the actual subject matter. Our app allows you to filter products based on multiple sets of criteria at once. For example, it empowers you to filter all the products for which age group is still not assigned within the app, along with an already applied filter for products with missing value age group warning. To filter out these products, please click on the filter products and choose age group from the listed alternatives. From the value drop-down menu, please select not defined or blank as a condition value and hit on the add filter button. This will now filter only those products that have missing value age group error, but custom age group value is not assigned to them within our app using the bulk edit feature. As we can see the recycled wood necklace art product is no longer visible in the filtered products, it implies that the missing value age group error is already resolved. This is because the errors and warnings were refetched after Google product category was assigned to this product and submitted to Google Merchant Center with updated data. Let's proceed to assign the age group attribute for the remaining products. While using the bulk edit feature, the knowledge about the products we are selling on our online store is essential because it will allow us to reach a particular group of products that will make the bulk age group assignment process easier. Additionally, we can apply any other filters for reaching a very granular level of a specific product group, like filtering by product tag, product type, or simply we can look for the product with age group name in the search box. Like here we are searching for women along with the other filters. This will also work as an additional filter to narrow down the results and show only those products that include women in their product titles. We can select all the filtered products using the main checkbox available beside the product header. Products which are meant for men or women will come under the adult age group. So now, to assign the age group for these products, please click on the do edits in bulk option. This will show you a drop-down list of options available for assigning various custom attributes within the app we will need to select the Assign Age Group option. In the dialog box, we are selecting Adult in the Value field and hit the Apply in Bulk button. This will assign the Adult as Age Group value to all the selected products and will submit them to your Google Merchant Center account and other marketing platforms. Now that the Age Group value is defined for all those products, they are no longer part of existing applied filters. The reason being the applied filter is meant for the products which are not assigned with age group value within a wrap. So, now it's time to modify the filter. To do that, 
We can either click on the cross mark in a particular filter, or by deleting the search query from the search bar, or replacing it with any other search query. We now search men in the search bar, which will now only display those products that include men in the product titles. Let's quickly assign the age group value as adult for all the filtered products. On a side note, when we run out of options to search similar products using the search query, we can also select multiple products together. To select multiple products at a time, click the first product, then press the shift key and hold it. Click the last product and release the shift key. This will select all the products within the selected range. Similarly, we will assign the age group value to these products as well. Along with the existing filters, we are adding a new one to filter all the products with the product tag age group, toddlers, where age group value is not defined. Note, we have already assigned the product tag age group toddlers in our Shopify store. So, it becomes easier for us to assign the age group value. Now that we have all the products for toddlers filtered in the apps interface, we will assign the age group value as toddler to them. We hope by now it must have been clear how we can filter out various products and assign the appropriate age group value to them. For a much better understanding, let's take a few more examples. Along with the existing filters, we are searching for all the products which contain infant in their title. Once all the products are filtered out, we will proceed ahead with assigning the age group value infant to them. Furthermore, Let's proceed to search for a newborn. As it has not returned any matching result, we are looking for products that are for 0 to 3 months old babies, which are considered as newborn babies. Now we will select these products and will add the age group value as newborn to them. Finally, products which contain boys, girls, or kids are, will come under the kids category, hence we are assigning kids as age group. Points to bear in mind. Age group values that we have just assigned to our products using the bulk edit feature are limited to feed only. This means that they will not be written back to your Shopify store for updating your product details. Age group values defined using the bulk edit feature of the app will be applicable only at the product level and not at the variance level. This implies that the same age group value will be submitted for all the variants of any particular product. Also, if you have already updated the age group values for your products within your Shopify store under the product meta fields, then you will be able to sync those values within our app without going through the entire process of assigning custom values within our app. You will be able to sync them using the resync meta fields options available within our app. We have also added the help video link, how you can use different methods for product meta field syncing with our app, in the description of this video. If your store setup requires you to assign the age group value at the variant level, as you have created variants based on different age group or age range. Like here, we have also created a product which has multiple variants based on various range of age groups, which again requires us to assign different age group value at variant level. So for such a use case, kindly follow one of our other videos, which will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating automated rules to assign age group value at variant level. You will find the link in the description below. Here, we are done with assigning age group value for most of the products which were affected by missing value age group warning. As we can see, these products are now showing the pending status. This is because whenever we do bulk edit or assign any custom attribute manually within the app, it may take about 30 minutes to process it and submit it to Google Merchant Center and other marketing platforms. Let's review Google Merchant Center. After assigning the value for the age group attribute and submitting the updated feed to our Google Merchant Center, if we check the diagnostics page, we might see a warning related to missing value age group, 
still appearing in the item issues list. This might have ignited your curiosity to know the reason behind warning still appearing in the Google Merchant Center account, even though we have already assigned the age group value for all the products where the age group attribute was missing. The reason being, the diagnostics page of the Google Merchant Center usually takes at least 30 minutes to update the list of item issues and shows only the errors and or warnings that still need our attention. To verify if age group value is updated within Google Merchant Center or not, let's check a product. Please click on the View Examples link available against the missing value age group warning. It will display the list of affected products. Let's check this women's bandage party dress. Click on the title of the product to visit the product details page. As we can see here, the age group is already visible on the product details page. Also, warning for missing value age group vanished from the item status section. If we check the raw feed attributes section, it will also show the same age group value as we have assigned in the app. With this, we have come to the end of the video as we are done with assigning age group attribute value to our products. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing.